I had a briefing call this afternoon with the pharmaceutical company that I've uh, been asked to do another session uh, with next uh, in January. And this is the one that I said yesterday, not counting my chickens, just kind of waiting until it's been properly confirmed. Uh, but actually, it kind of had been confirmed. This was just a briefing call to go through, like, what they really want. So yeah, that's really good. Feel really positive about that. That's another one to get um, to get going with next year. And actually, I've got my uh, my new monthly planner. Um, I, I I did this this year. It's like a um, basically it's a wall planner. But what I what I started doing was using it to track my um, kind of progress, the things that I had 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 in booked in, um, and uh, so this is the 2021. I've got one for 2019, so I've never really had a wall plan. I haven't really got a wall to put it on, so that's probably the reason why. Um, but I've had it, and I just followed up, and I get it out every now and then to just check back in with like where I am with things and <clears throat> and so on. But it's really useful for me to be able to see that what I've got, like here's a month where I've got this, 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 and this, and then I've got these things, and I've got these things. And I bring all the Toastmasters things into it as well, like the contests. I uh, I bring in the PSA meetings that I go to. So anything speaking related goes on to the wall planner, so it helps me really visualize it all, rather than just having it in the diary. Uh, so it was, uh, it was really good, um, kind of felt really good to be able to put this one in there as well for January. So that one's also now in. And as I was doing this, actually, as I was doing it, um, not just the one for January, but some of the other ones the other day, um, I started thinking, okay, well, what are my targets for next year? What are my goals? And um, I, I've, I've been fairly loose with the goals that and not really that specific in the past with uh, like what, what it the numbers of sessions I want to be delivering and you know, revenue and audience sizes. And I haven't really locked all that stuff down and I still haven't and I don't really want to, not because I've got any sort of doubt about moving towards it, but because it's just so impossible to, to say. It's like, you know, how do I know what is actually going to represent success for me? So what I've done instead is I've kind of come up with at least a number. So I've got the number of 20 20 paid speaking engagements in 2020. Um, actually, there's, that's a coincidence. I hadn't even thought of it like that. But 20 in 2020, it's got a good ring to it. And um, all of which, so I'm not going to include my own events in that. I'm not going to include emceeing in that. Um, I'm not going to include webinars that I'm paid to do in that either. These are all standing on a stage, either delivering keynotes or workshops. And within that 25 of those will be keynotes so actual delivery of, um, of keynote sessions so I've done a few of them this year so I want to do five of them next year as a minimum within 20 paid speaking engagements and um, obviously adding to that and on top of that the the, the things that I do um, some kind of pro bono things that I've done in the past uh, if it's been the right event um, and, uh, and 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 the emceeing and the paid webinars and so on so all that stuff as well and my own events but that's my number that I'm kind of focusing on because that feels like it's the next step for me. If I get to the end of next year and I've done that that number, I don't think I'll. I still don't think I'll be where I want to be eventually. But I will be happy with that number. I will feel like I've really, really kind of made a success of it, and I'm moving in the right direction. I remember actually 20 was the number that I set myself in 2018 when I first started doing these videos, and um, I didn't get anywhere near to that mark. And I really was just plucking numbers out of the air. It's like, well, that would be great if I if I were to do that number of events. So now I feel like I've got a bit more of a plan, a bit more of a process, and a bit more momentum going into it. So I feel like it's not just plucked out of the air. It's a kind of a real achievable number. I mean, come on. If I let's say I don't do any events in August and I do one event in December, that's an average of two events across the remaining ten months. Like it's not. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a lot. In fact, it's not even that. It's like none in August, none in December, and two events a, a month for the remaining 10 months. So definitely achievable, definitely doable, um, but it's not going to just happen of its own accord. I have to make it happen. I have to keep driving this and pushing it forwards myself. Um, and uh, like I said in a few of these uh, videos previously, like, you know, what if, what if I just did all the things that I said I was going to do? And I really do feel like that going into the new year, that's what the plan is. So, all good. I have some good news today going into the weekend. And uh, the briefing call was also, just going back to that a second, the briefing call was really, really uh, interesting because 
I uh, we were sort of a bit of back and forth, and I asked plenty of questions. I wanted to understand what it was exactly what they wanted, and one of the ladies on the call was there at the session this year as well, so she was able to kind of say the sort of thing that she thought worked really well and would like to see more of. So I've now got a really clear idea of what they want, which is making which is going to make things really easy when I sit down to plan the thing. Um, it'll be minimal slides, maximal activity. Um, workshopy type stuff just get the work done and uh, and actually make sure I add plenty of value to the session so people go away from it with a bit of a plan so that's not till the middle of January anyway but uh, plenty to do between now and then because I'll have had a few other sessions by the time we get to that one so all good there's my check-in for the day I will be back again with another update tomorrow but for now thanks for watching thanks for listening Give it a like, subscribe to the channel and check back again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.